So we have on the phone, we have uh, television host Bill O'Reilly, who we just saw be a uh, credible racist, blames black for being murderers. Uh, Bill, why do you think you get away with your racism and Paula Dean, who is much more innocuous, gets nailed? She's not good at it, Jimmy. She, she's, what, how is she not? What do you mean she's not good at, uh, good she at what? The first rule of modern day dog whistle racism, she apologized. Never apologize for racism or race baiting. Never. Why? Shows the black you're weak. Oh, shows shows the blacks that you're weak. Then they take your jobs, and then they take your women. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) but what what do you do when you get called out for your dog whistles? What what how do you handle that? What when? What do you do when you get called out for your subtle racism? What do you do? You double down and drop the subtlety, like I did last Monday. Pardon me. I'm full of gin and tonics. Okay, I like Me and Bernie came right out and said it. Blacks are fucking murderers. They're all <laughs> wild animal murderers. <laughs> yes. Boom. Boom what? What do you mean boom? And boom. guess what? What? Nobody's talking about my subtle racism or my dog whistles or what I might mean. Blacks are criminals and fornicators. Take that, Joe Scarborough, and stick it up your black loving pipe and abort it. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> what? Don't you worry that regular people will find you disgusting and the things you say disgusting? Regular people I'm talking about. You're not worried about that at all? No. First of all, regular people love me. They do. Love me. Even lefties dig me. Chris Matthews always says, good to see me whenever I bump into him at various charity functions. Mm. And Captain Jew Boy himself, John Stewart. <laughs> what? Captain Jew, John Stewart is what you're talking about? Can't stop coming by on my show and yucking it up with me. Mm -hmm. So I might be overly racist and work to increase the racial divide in our country, but people see me and Jew Boy Stewart laughing our asses off together and they think it's all okay. You know what? That is sad and very true. That is what happened. Been there. Yeah. Most people just think we're the rights version of Rachel Maddow. Really? Really? The rights version of Rachel? How? How are you the rights version of Rachel? She uses facts, rational thoughts, and logical arguments to make her points. I'm just the other side of that coin. What, What side of the coin are you, Bill? The racist side. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. The side that plays on pre-existing prejudices and fears of ignorant white people and exploits it to make a handsome profit. Just the other side of the coin. That's not the other side of the coin. They point out where being racist and race baiting is wrong, and we provide them with the examples to complain about. (laughs) (laughs) So you really don't care. You don't. You don't give a shit then about what happens. How do you? How do you not care? Both sides do it. No, they don't. It's a beautiful synergy. But 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 how do you how do you not care about? The horrible thing. No, it's very hard to care when counting millions of dollars and watching Juan Williams say he's afraid of Muslims while Newt Gingrich tells him to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to care. It's hard to care. But Bill, don't you see that some of the problems the black community has experienced is because of the hangover of hundreds of years of slavery and institutional <laughs> racism? You don't, you don't see that? That, that maybe that has something to do with maybe some of the crime statistics, that the way we've uh, institutionally made them criminals? Of course and... I do. But there's no money in saying that, Jimmy. See, no. the money is in the race baiting and scapegoating the poor. You want to end up like Bill Moyers? That's your funeral. For me, it's <laughs> racism, scapegoating, and fear-mongering 24-7. Okay, well, that's Bill. I appreciate you being a racist and being open about it and not trying to conceal it on the show. Hey. Somebody's got to be honest out there. And you know what? It could be a black or a Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay. Bill, thanks for pull, pulls the veil back on his racism. Thank you very much. You got it, fuckface. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. That's Bill O'Reilly. That guy's a racist. Yeah. I think he might be racist. Yeah,